Epic Tales is a new kids animation film that is now available to check out on VOD, and I finally got a chance to check out this film to let you guys know if this film is worth a watch and if the kids will enjoy this as well. So stick around and let's talk about it. Epic Tales is about an adventurous mouse named Patty who sets off to battle dangerous creatures in ancient Greece, including Poseidon. The film stars Casey Chase, Christophe Lemoyne, Emmanuel Cartel, Michel Thoreau, and Pierre Richard, and many more, and was directed by David Alux, and he's done one film before that I've heard of called The Jungle Bunch, but this is my first film that I've seen from him. So going into Epic Tales, I did see that this film popped up on my AMC app, but the problem was all the times for it were during the day, and it was only in theaters for about a week, so I missed it, and I had it on my list to actually check out for later. Now this film technically is a 2022 film. It did come out in Europe in 2023, and now we finally have got it now on VOD so I finally got a chance to check out this film. Now this film it has a mouse named Patty. She really likes Greek mythology and she loves reading books and she reads all the books on this island that she's actually living on and you have the Greek gods who have this disagreement. They want to have the statue built of Zeus, a new one, and they want this nice trident and they give the town a week to build this new statue and if they don't they threaten them with a tsunami to completely wipe out their way of life and of course their city as well so you have patty who has her favorite hero named jason who is somebody in the past that has gone through a lot of different adventures and so them two and a few other people they go on this adventure to this island that mysteriously has this trident that they need to complete the statue the animation here was very solid it was very visually inviting i think the performances as far as the voice acting here they're fine performances i do wish there was a little bit more energy at points within the film and just some of the little banter between the characters. I wish there was just a little bit more. I think at times I can see this being very entertaining for kids, though I think some references will go over their head. There's a few references towards music and such and just little songs that I just don't think the kids would get. I did laugh a few times, so it has its moments with its humor. It does have a diversity of different animals and creatures used, and they actually come across a lot of different characters here, like they have a crowd Kraken with a running nose and they have to defeat the Kraken. They come across these Cyclops who have this giant wild robot that kind of runs around. There's a volcano that's erupting and you have these scorpions as well that they actually meet. And I actually did like those characters, the scorpions. They were kind of funny at points and I did actually enjoy them and kind of carrying this story as it goes along. I think it definitely needed a little bit more humor at times. I think it's one of those films too for the adults. I'm not sure if they're going to really like this film, but I think it's one of those films films there it can be a good time passer and I think the characters they have enough charm to really get through the film though I did think while watching this film this is definitely one of those films that you would find on the Netflix kids section because they have a lot of random kids films that I've never heard of you know you have some of the popular ones but then you have these random ones and I definitely feel like this is definitely one of those films that would definitely land on their streaming service at one point in time I did feel like the story though it left a little bit more to be desired and you know I really love the Greek mythology and the premise as to why Patty and Jason need to go out on this quest. You know, that made all sense. But I really did think it was really thin as far as like the villains. I didn't really like the Greek gods as the villains. It just felt really thin as them as villains. And it felt overall that they really weren't that menacing, obviously. And I, I get it's a kid's movie, but it just didn't really feel like I really bought into their characters as a whole. And there's also a weird coincidence, the fact that Patty is adopted by a ginger cat, which is something you gotta just suspect your disbelief there but I think the kids will enjoy it for the most part I think overall this is one of those films that you can look at it and be like you know what this isn't too bad of a film I do think in some of the animation I did like it but I do think that some of the humans they're a little bit waxy the way that they actually did the animation for those humans but I think overall it's a film that you can watch and pass some time definitely on a rainy day it's definitely worth a watch at some point as far as the score for this film I would definitely give it a two and a half out of five it was fine to watch 
watch for one time. I don't know if it's something that I'll rush out and revisit again, but it's something that I can say that if you are bored or if you want to watch something new or if you're looking for a new kids film to just check out, it's definitely a film that I would say check out at least one time and has enough charm with the characters and maybe a few chuckles along the way as well. What did you guys think about Epic Tales? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you just think it was kind of meh? And if you haven't checked it out, is it something that you're going to check out now that it's on VOD? I think when it comes down to it, I think the five, six, seven year olds will definitely enjoy this film. You know, it's not something that is too heavy. It's not a crazy plot. I think it's something a little bit different and the Greek mythology alone for the adults I think it's at least half entertaining enough to actually watch for a one-time watch. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.